What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today on October 4th, Apple finally announced their next iPhone. They called it the iPhone 4S, and I must say I am disappointed. I was waiting for an iPhone 5 with a completely new design, but Apple did change a few things. Not on the outside, cosmetically it looks exactly the same as the iPhone 4. The changes are all on the inside. The iPhone 4S does have an A5 processor, which can be found in the iPad 2, and it will make it two times faster and graphically seven times faster than the current iPhone 4. The iPhone 4S will be a world phone, so it's both GSM and CDMA capable at the same time. So the Verizon iPhone owners will have a SIM card slot as well. Now that doesn't mean it'll come unlocked, but you will be able to take it all over the world and use it wherever. The iPhone 4S will have much better call quality and it will feature double the data speeds depending on which carrier you have. Of course, it's not up to 4G yet, but the data speeds are greatly improved. Now the battery life has been greatly improved, I'd say by about 30% over the iPhone 4 and I thought the iPhone 4 had great battery life so that's definitely a really good thing for me I use my iPhone a lot and now you'll be able to listen to music for 40 hours watch video for 10 hours and talk over 3G for 8 hours the upgraded camera on the iPhone 4S is what I'm mostly looking forward to and not only is it a lot faster the quality has been improved and it can now record in 1080p there is a new voice control upgrade called Siri and it's basically voice control from iOS 4 but upgraded you can tell it or ask it to do a lot more things I'm just not that interested in it so I'm not going to go into detail but it is pretty cool alright guys that's the iPhone 4s I know not much of an improvement but I still will be getting it now you guys can pre-order it on the 7th it does come out on the 14th and iOS 5 will be released on the 12th now about pricing the 64 gigabyte version oh yeah it comes in 64 gigs now that's definitely good for people like me who like to take a lot of pictures but the 64 gigabyte version will be $400 the 32 gigabyte will be 299 and the 16 gigabyte will be 199 all right guys thanks for watching i'll be talking to you guys soon when i have an iphone 4s in hand and don't forget about that comment definitely leave one i would love to hear you guys' opinion on the iphone 4s and have a great day guys peace